very much. Um, I'm slightly alarmed by the wording on um, Section A of 3.8.10. Now, the suggested changes, now, in all of your presentation, you've been talking about approximately 3,000 houses, which is what we've all understood. Um, but you want the wording to be changed so that it says at least 3,080 houses. Now, this, yes, I'm sure there is a good reason, but I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful reason. But I'd just like to point out at this stage that there are, every house that's built, there are financial implications, are there not? So we have to, as landowners, declare an interest here in any submission that you make. Um, every house that's built is money in the bank for the landowners and for the many down company. So when you, w when you have this kind of open-ended thing, there is a clear financial implication here that has to be declared when you make your submission to the, to the um, local plan. So we are declaring that in the way that we're putting the representations together, of which we declared it in the paper, effectively, in, in, in terms of the financial implication. Uh, there's a technical reason. Um, under the NPPF, um, the inspector has to look at minimums and therefore the words at least are consistent with the minimum requirement that the inspector has to view uh, when they consider the local plan in the context of the NPPF guidance. So that's a technical point. Can we not, for the sake of our plan, have a maximum as well? Because obviously it's, uh, just having a minimum is, is, uh, is dreadful. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, the, the absolute guidance on this is minimum. And that's, that's the way the planning guidance is, is constructed. 